here we are then for the um, Russian Grand Prix. Everything is looking to be okay for us. It's a f um, Leclerc's in P10, no, 8, sorry. I'm in P5. It's not a Ferrari front row. The Ferraris are now separated. Um, we won't be able to win the championship, obviously, in this race. Hmm. We won't in Japan. We might in Mexico. And every other race. But let's head to the race then. And it's lights out and away we go. It only looks like a normal um, okay start actually. We're getting in the slipstream now. Leclerc's bogged down a little bit. That's not too good, must admit. But we are at least up into um, a good P4. I'm challenging for, against these guys, the Mercedes, who make no contact at all with them. It's a clean overtake. As it, now even Hamilton is struggling against Sebastian Vettel. Look at that. Vettel is ahead of him into the breaking zone. He has the inside line. They're still battling out for position. This is an amazing battle. Hamilton has the inside line. And then Vettel's going to have the inside line for the next corner. They've been wheel to wheel half the lap. And they're still going to be um, attacking for position. But Vettel has got in front. Now the two Red Bulls are going to try to have a little go at him into the braking zone at the end of the DRS zone. But Hamilton will stick ahead for now. Ahead of these two Red Bull drivers. But meanwhile, we are now attacking Bottas. And there is a big chance we can overtake him pretty soon. Um, so into the place we will slot. Look at the gap we've already got for... Wait a second. That. You can't even see them from the camera shot. Alright. I believe Leclerc is in. Yeah, Leclerc is in P1. As you can see there, as they stroke the pin. Uh, here's Pierre Gasly, who is ahead of him. And then we've got Daniel Ricciardo, as well as his teammate, Max Verstappen. Ahead of Hamilton, who is ahead of um, Sebastian Vettel, who is behind Valtteri Bottas, who we have snuck by in spectacular fashion. You can see now we've got the opportunity, there's no DRS until the third lap, this is only the second lap, so there's no DRS, it's just pure straight line speed from the exit of the final corner and into the first real corner we have got the job done and now chasing after this man right ahead of us Kevin Mackinson who's won his first Grand Prix back in um, Canada um, this year now can he win more Grand Prix I wonder maybe Maybe, maybe, maybe just, maybe just. But, um, yeah, there's no real battles going on on track at the moment. I'm trying to not gain an advantage, but here is the here through this chicane. Here's the Ferrari, and here how the lead is it. And 
because we can't steer as well as them, here is us. See, we, it's similar line, but through the exit, we just try to not extend track limits. I, I, I would say that. I would say, yeah, perhaps, um, yeah, extending track limits without a penalty or a warning. We are gradually closing in on um, him, enough to get DRS, but still no opportunity for us to pass. We are going to start past the snap though, which is very nice. And now we're going to have DRS, we're not going to be able to pass obviously, but we have a chance still. As you can see, Bottas is just dropping behind. As oh, that is a battle here. Look at this: Max Verstappen versus Lewis Hamilton, flat out through turn three or turn four. Hamilton is now under pressure from this man right here behind him, Daniel Ricciardo. Look at this. This is a very good battle at the moment between all of these drivers but then as we are gonna immediately get back to us look at this we are closing in on him so much look at we're getting the straight line speed we might even be able to go around the outside and take the lead of the way we're gonna go wide though because he misjudged our breaking point and he's gonna get back past us this obviously won't be the fastest lap now because of that mistake. Clipping the grass as well on the exit as well. As well as well, as well, as well blah blah blah. But you can see we're just trying to gain as much time as possible. If it means um, even skipping through these. As we, again, we're going to misjudge our braking. This time not as much, we get a bit, but we're going to be battling with Kevin the whole way. But Kevin Magnussen will stay uh, in the lead, as you can see. What's going on? Are we going into the pit lane this early? Why are we doing this? Hmm. This might be one of the better of the strategies of this entire career. As you see, as we're going to skip into the pit lane. Now we have our mechanics who've done a good job to get us a fast, a rather fast pit stop done and dusted. Now what we're doing now is just now, 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 now. It's just gaining more and more and more and more and more time. But look, we are in last place other than the TV. So, what we need to do is we need to get past this track. But, the race leaders are going to come in late in the race, which is going to be important for us. But we are not getting anywhere close to possibly getting past Jack Aitken at the moment. Actually, last time in Singapore's driver of the day, we can't get past them. Maybe we can, though, into the next DRS zone, because we are within one second, clearly, of okay. him. Now we have a wheeling opened up. We're going to see if we can possibly get past him. And look, clean and simple always pays off. But we are currently in, it's painful to say it, 20th place. Trying to catch on to on, um, Antonio Giovinazzi, who we are very close on and it is willing, and we are very willing to overtake him soon. But, again, Look, we just can't. So we do now, and he is behind us, as you can see. But as we're gonna skip along and 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 along, 
Now we are having a go at Mother Power Machita. Which might have some analysing to do because this happens. Oh, you can't see it in that camera shot, can you? What's going on with this tire? It just disappeared. could see so yeah this needs analyzing he didn't give me you know he gave me the space yeah that yeah that was my fault it was either my fault now that was clearly my fault and the rear tire completely whacks him And how disastrous is that the poor Nobu Haru Matashita out of this race? First retirement to Nick the Priest has a big lock up in that corner. No surprise there's always quite a few lock ups in there. We're gonna make slight contact with him. He's gonna be out of shape into the next corner. He, he hits the barrier. Not my fault at all. George Russell is up next. And yeah, every, we're going to squeeze past him very easily. And we're now ahead, trying to chase after Sergio Perez, who doesn't have his name, Blurry. That's cool. But we are going to have a little dive bomb, are we? Or are we not? Yes, we are, and we're going to squeeze past. And now he is struggling against... As you can see there, the Alfa Romeo of George Russell. But, yeah, nothing really. As this is the time when people are going to start coming into the pit lane. We completely breeze past sides. Just look at this. Look at this. But anyway, now we are chasing after Daniel Kavir, is that? Yes, it is. Daniel Kavir. Who is now chasing after our young Lance Stroll. In a very handy P8 or P9, one of them. He can't overtake him, so we are going to overtake him. No, never mind, he came into the pit lane. But we're still gonna overtake Lance. Oh, and again, look at the DRS. Look at this. Bear in mind, it's the mediums versus the soft. That's the straight line speed we have. Very handy on this car. But this is... Um, this is handy. This is the race leader currently going to the hard tyre. Because actually, bear in mind, Magnussen is behind us. He has pitted, and somehow, without me knowing, he is now behind us on the road. But slowly and gradually, he's on the meet. He's on the um. He's on newer mediums. He would start gradually gaining on me, as you can see. Lap 11 out of 13. It's going to be a tough one. It's going to be very tight for the victory for us. But we might be able to do it. As look how close he is now. He is already that close. 
We are really struggling with the tire wear. We're going to leave the door wide open. But he is still going to be knocked right there. As you can see. He just isn't getting past. This is crucial for the race, guys. This is really crucial. Look at this. He, he's look at that straight line speed, though. That's that's not what I wanted to see. Look, that's Kevin Magnussen ahead. This is us now struggling against Valtteri Bottas, and I don't think we're going to be able to win this race because we don't have anything up in the bag to actually secure this race win. Therefore, Bottas. If he overtakes us, that it will only be just the podium. But this is ever so close. Look, we leave the door open again. I do that on purpose sometimes, just so they get the outside line and I can squeeze them out. But he hasn't worked there and he's still close to our car, so we need to focus on perhaps closing the door better, shall we say. But still, we are in a very handy P2. Ahead of our rival as well. And looking interesting as he's going to go up the inside. And what was that? What? what? That was not my fault. You're meant to break there. I broke there. He broke so early. He broke here. He broke here. He broke here. You're meant to break here. Look how close we came to the barrier there. Yeah, it's unfortunate for him. But one thing that I don't understand is why Sebastian Vettel did the same thing. Wait, wait, what? What's going on with his... Like, on board with him, those tyres... Those tyres are... Alright, th this, this race is full of glitches. But we have from wing damage. We are brought, we're going to come home in P2 and extend our lead in the championship, no matter what happens. But as you can see... We're going to struggle to the line that we secure P2 and drive for the day. Leclerc, bad race for him. Albon, very okay race for him. Norris, very okay race for him. Um, good race for Ferrari. They've overtaken us in the championship, which is just, just crap. However... In the term of events, we are doing very, very, very nicely. <sighs> but, yeah, alas, we can't do it in the end. We couldn't get the win. 
that was for Kevin Magnuson and Kevin only. Yeah, and poor luck from both Valtteri and Nobuhari Matashita. I'm sorry, Valtteri. It just had to happen. We're rivals, after all. Matashita. I won't blame it for myself because it will make me feel bad. I didn't do it on purpose. You did it. So that was an exciting race from our perspective. Oh, you Let's son of a... It's looking like the championship is already won. Do you think there's still time for this to change? Well, it's, I guess it's not all over yet. You really cut your way through the field today. What was your strategy? My strategy was the weirdest strategy of all time. Well, here's hoping they're working hard to find some improvements. She closed her eyes. And... She closed her eyes and it stayed closed for me. beat our rival at least and we did achieve 10 laps no matter what happens we will always unless we retire we will always and i mean it always um get to that polo po polar thing polo whatever it is i don't know how to pronounce it then why is it my sponsor you might say because it had good sponsor scene to do. Our margins are looking good right now. I think we've got room for some more investment. So, this sponsor then, Achi, no, Achievi, Achievi, uh, that is very easy to do, but it's got some, and it's got some um, good goal bonus. But we are, but look, there is, guys, all of that, that we need to adapt. But aerodynamics as well, we really need to get more resource points. In terms of activities though, it is two weeks, we'll get a few more resource points. This is going to help the team out a lot. This is also going to help the team out a lot. This is going to give us more resource points. So that could be handy. Um, yeah, back in driver market. That guy is who we're trying to get. Gonna save up our uh, money just in case. Hmm, everything's good. Everything looks good as well. Yeah, we're onto something good. We're onto something good. At least.
Good God, we're doing good. This is nice. This is nice. Okay, we've had the new parts come through from the fabrication process. We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix. The thing about it is there is so much adapting that we need to do for the regulation change. I think we'll get past it. No messages. Um, nothing. I've got nothing, guys. Nothing. One thing that I did notice, though, is the suit. We will have to change to that. And these we'd, we'd have to change to to um, we would have to change this to that. with that that looks and uh, in terms of helmet as well That's our livery. No, that's our um, that's our um thing. Yeah, so that's happening. What's this? Oh, I don't think I've... It's probably because I don't actually think I've ever seen that. No offence to anyone. Hmm. I will have number two, but I'll have number one soon. Yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Team colour then.
there is something good, however. I do like Suzuka. I like Suzuka a lot. Car livery for Suzuka. Nah, I don't like it. Oh, oh god, I don't, I don't like that either. I don't exactly know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna look for a livery for next year, I guess. a very bright car sure about you guys I, but I really like that like I actually really like it it's probably like one of the best liveries I've ever made no kidding that's our next year's livery guys I hope you like it because that is it oh my gosh I can't believe that looks so good But we're still going to have that one for the rest of the season. Anyway, let's see. I, I need to get more resource points. So I'll see you guys at the Japanese Grand Prix. And I'll see you guys next time.